In this video, we'll be seeing how to implement radio button in Android. We'll be creating a quiz application through this video. So first of all, we can go to the resources, layout, activity main, and go to the split mode. Here we can change the parent layout to linear layout. Set the orientation to vertical. We can also give a padding of 20 dp. Now we can remove the text view from here and we can create another linear layout. Match parent and warp content. Open the linear layout and inside the linear layout we can give a margin top. Set it to 50 dp. We can also set the orientation to vertical. Now inside this linear layout we can create a text view. In this text view we can give a text and let's make this text as a question. So we are making a simple quiz app. So we can give the text as a question. Okay so this is our question. Now we can give a text size and also make it bold. After that we can create a radio group. Warp content and warp content and open the radio group. Okay and inside that we can create the options that is the radio buttons. So let's create a radio button. Warp content and warp content. Collapse empty tag. Okay, now we have to give an ID for the radio button. So we can give the ID something like option 1. Okay, now we are having one radio button. So we can also give a text for the radio button. And here we can give the answer for the question. So the answer for this question is JavaScript object notation. So we can make it a different answer. Okay, so this is the first option. We can also add some margin to the start and also to the top. Now we can set this option as checked equal to true. And then we can give a text size of 20 SP. Okay, so we have created one radio button. Now we can copy this from here. And we can add as much as options as you want. So we'll be adding three options. So I have pasted it three times. So now we are having three radio buttons. So let's change the ID to option two and option three. Okay, now we can change the text that is this one. So here we can add the real answer on the third option and on the second one we can add some other answer. Okay, so this is our answers for the question. So you can see the UI that we have created on the palette side. So we are having a question and we are having three answers. Now we need a button. So come outside the radio button group here and then we can give a button. Give an ID for the button. Okay, now we have added a button. So you can see the button is having the ID, BTN submit and also a text submit. Okay, so the UI is completed. Now we can go to the Java part. So once more I will explain the UI part. Here we are having a question here and also three answers for this question. So we are having option one, ID option one, option two and option three respectively for the radio buttons. And then we are having a button with the ID BTN submit. Now go to activity main Java part and here we have to create the object for radio button and also the button. So we have created the object for the radio button equal to find view by id r dot id dot then we have to give the id that we have given for the option first option 
so that is option one so this is the idea of the first radio button so if you are having any doubt you can go to the ui and here you can see radio button this is the first one and we have given the id option one okay so we can give the object name like radio button one okay now we can create two more radio button two and radio button three change this to option two and the next one to option three okay so the objects are initialized so we are having three radio button objects and we have initialized them now we need a button so button find view by id r dot id dot and then give the id of the button that is btn submit now we can create an on click listener for the button so button dot set on click listener new on click listener and inside this on click listener we can check if the radio button is checked or not so first of all we can create a string string and let's name it selected answer then we can give a default value that is nothing selected now we have to check if the radio button is checked or not so for that if radio button one dot is checked and if this is true that means the radio button first option that is the radio button first one is checked and if this option is checked we can get the text from that radio button and we can set it to the selected answer so selected answer equal to radio button dot get text and we have to convert it to string so to string and that's all now we have to do the same for the radio button 2 and radio button 3 so we can copy this much from here and here we can add an else if else if okay now we can change the button object name to radio button 2 dot is checked and change it here also radio button 2 okay now create another else if change the object name okay now we are checking if the button radio button 1 is checked and if the radio button 1 is checked the answer will be the text that is given on the radio button 1 so you can see in the radio button 1 we have given the text that is this one that is javascript oriented notation okay and the second one is java oriented notation and the third one is javascript object notation so you can see that we will get this text here okay so we'll be getting that text here okay and come outside this if condition and then we can check if the answer is equal to the correct answer so for that if selected answer dot equals then here we can give the correct answer and the correct answer will be this one javascript object notation and paste it here okay open the if condition and inside this we can give a toast message for now toast and we can give something like answer correct correct answer and on the else part we can give wrong answer okay hope you can see the code properly so here you can see we are checking if the selected answer is equal to the correct answer so this is the correct answer and this is the selected answer and if it is true then we are showing the toast message correct answer and if it is false we are showing the toast message that is this one so you have to add an else here so i forgot that else okay now this is correct okay so don't forget to add this else here okay if else okay okay so the implementation part is done now we can try running this application and check so the application has opened and here you can see the third option is getting checked so you can go to the activity main.xml so let's remove the emulator okay here so here you can see that we are setting checked equal to true 
So you can remove that for the option 3 and 2. So we are only setting the option 1 as checked. And we are not setting it for the option 2 and 3. Okay. So now we can run it once more. And you can see now the option 1 is getting checked. Now if you try to submit it, you can see wrong answer. Because the first option is not the correct one. So we can set the third option and click submit. You can see correct answer. See? Now you can add as many questions as you want and you can add it inside a scroll view and maybe give a button for next screen and etc something like that. So this is the basic of creating a quiz application. So hope you understand how to implement radio button in Android. If you have any doubt you can leave a comment below and I will respond to them. If you want the complete source code of this video you can come to this URL. I will give the link on the description. So we'll be publishing every source code of the videos here on this website. So you can come here and download it from here. Hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos.